like here's two guys, world record holders, best in the world, uh, and they're completely different animals. And you got to cater your your uh, your training accordingly. It sounds like you you've got almost a similar thing here. Yeah, and I think also there's one other aspect that we don't talk about very often when we talk about lactate profiling or metabolic profiling and so on, and that's also the capacity aspect, because I think a lot of people confuse, let's say, glycolytic power or, or VO2 max for, for, uh, for anaerobic capacity or aerobic capacity and these kind of things. But what they miss there is they miss one very crucial dimension. Of course, there are other dimensions, but they miss one very crucial dimension, and that's the time to exhaustion. Because you can have two guys with the same VO2 max, same maximum lactate steady state, but they are different time to exhaustion. And the guy that has the longest time to exhaustion obviously is the stronger guy because he can decide to burn off then obviously a, a, a greater capacity over a shorter duration and, and compensate for that. So capacity is is something that um, is super important. But mm-hmm. I think one of the things that we see with Christian, Gustav and Kasper is that um, uh, and the, the, one thing we also have to remember that there are so many things still in physiology uh, that we can't measure when it comes to human uh, humans. And th- it's easy to get too, let's say, occupied or too obsessed, uh, obsessed over, let's say, a metabolic profile alone, and you dictate everything based on that. But then you f- then you f- lose out on the psychological aspect. What do the athlete also need in order to believe in themselves? Because it doesn't help if your profile looks like this is the most awesome profile in the whole world. We've never seen any any triathlete or sprinter or whatever athlete you're working with that has a better profile. But if it, that athlete doesn't believe in himself, that also doesn't help because he will never be able to dig into that, let's say, into that hole uh, that is required basically to extract everything uh, from himself so I think I think with the tree basically one of the things we, we basically saw was that uh, Gustav he is the guy that responds the easiest to more high intensity high intensity and anaerobic uh, anaerobic works um, Kasper it was actually in when I started work with him he was in the other side of the spectrum he 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 was a pure diesel engine. Uh, the, Christian was more the the hybrid and, and the, hy- the hybrid in, in in between the two. But over the years, when we started to optimize the profile, things changed a little bit more. Christian uh, today, uh, you get a little bit you you get a little bit. Um, he, he's he's a he's a um, uh, what's the right word? I was about to say optical illusion, but <laughs> but, but but more that he has he has the big uh, speed skater thighs, uh, yeah. legs thighs. Yeah, he does. Yeah, no yeah, question. Yeah. And and he looks also quite uh, the big uh, upper body too. But there you get a little bit tricked by that he has a, a chest that is is um, uh, slightly mutated. So he yeah. ha- he has a. Um, uh, he, he he can he ventilates significantly more than yeah 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 extremely probably. high ventilation yeah yeah he's probably it's got close to seven liters probably eh? yeah uh, and minute minute volume is also uh, quite Super high, high yeah so yeah so so yeah. so, 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 so he can, yeah, then, he can ventilate his ox- his oxygen and, you know keep saturation high with that I mean int- that that carriage the, the, that the carriage int- is incredible you just look the, at that and it's just like Oh yeah, I know what's going on in there. Big hearts, big lungs, you know, that that whole you just and like you said, the hybrid the the hybrid body too, right? So he can also dig deep. He's got a little bit of anaerobic profile too. And then he's and then he's push you know, he's mutated, so he's got he's got the big um you know, the uh aerobic engine and stuff centrally to just oxi- oxidize oxidize all of that stuff. So it's yeah, it's it's phenomenal. But- but the funny thing is that he his his uh, short duration power is so low that he when they are, if they do like some short sprints uh, short sprints he actually prefer to do that on him own uh, on uh, on his own because he feels so embarrassed because yeah. the Casper and the Casper and Gustav they just fly off. When they're putting in the big, like the let's say a five second sprint or ten second sprint, they just fly off. While Christian, he peaks out uh, much earlier, uh, so much well, earlier actually than the, the guy. Those are the, properties of a diesel. Those are properties of a diesel. Exactly, so but the, I... thing, the, the thing, but the thing is that the thing is that this have changed 
these have changed quite significantly over the years when we started to tune them more to find out okay what how do we develop the uh, each of them into their close or close to the peak of course the peak we don't know because we're always trying to push push the boundaries see if we can get even faster make it even faster and we see that we are learning new stuff all the time but basically um, the closer we at least we have brought them to peak uh, we see that they're um, how they are responding now to workers. If we just kept the same program, we would have failed. So it has been evolution and an adaptation to their needs and a little bit, of course, now, especially now when it's Ironman racing too, there are even more uh, adaptation in another direction. But of course, we are also going back to Paris 2024. So uh, it's um, the individualization part of in, in, into this to reach or arrive at start with peak optimization or peak performance for that kind of race uh, is a little bit different from I would say that most of the workouts 80% let's say just throwing out a number here but let's say approximately 80% of the workouts are more or less the same and then the last 20% is where the optimization or let's say the optimization comes but it's not so big of an optimization that okay you today ride easy you today ride medium intensity or you today ride high intensity or this kind of thing well that's actually well that's uh, maybe maybe the last part of that they still have the, this threshold normally on the same day, but how the, the thresholds, or not the threshold, let's say high intensity, medium intensity sessions are developed are different based on what need they, need, uh, they have in order to, to, to fine tune, let's say, the, 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 um, their metabolic system compared to their capacity and what the demand of the events that they are going into are. Mm -hmm. So what, how, how, would, how would they slightly be different? So, um, Christian, and this is of course still a work in progress, but Christian, he can do a lot of work. He, he, he can do massive works. He's uh, a diesel, he's a diesel. Yeah, but actually just in pure kilojoule turnover a week, he can, yeah. he can, he can put in massive work. Gustav yeah. is, is, is uh, of course, um, uh, he, he, he is in, in, the, in between there, and Kasper is the guy that, uh, can do the least work. So for example, if we now put them into the same program with the same volume and intensity and this kind of thing, most likely we would just dig a hole for Casper. So Casper, we need yeah. to hold back a little bit. Or